Hey Curry, what's the name of this beast here? Uh, yes, the whole... The whole thing? The whole thing is the sediment traps. I wasn't surprised when I actually looked. So I guess they're getting ready for the plane. They're what? They're called hard hats. They're glass buoys. Okay, so those are the ones that are going to tell you where the the whole thing is. So is this big orange thing here going to be submerged or...? No, that's what allows us to find it. That's floating okay. at the surface. Oh, okay, so I thought these were the buoys. So there's also help keep everything afloat, but they're actually going to be uh, beneath the water. That's the big buoy that's going to keep the whole thing afloat. And then all these red and uh, orange and green buoys, they're going to help hold the line out. So that will allow us to attach a line to it and bring it back on the ship. Now this line wraps around to yeah. these safety hard hat buoys. So just in case anything fails, we've got really good flotation devices. And those are connected to this line here, which we will attach this cross to. And uh, we will attach all of our sediment trap tubes onto that and then we'll send that out and at the very bottom we, uh, we attach a weight to make sure that the, the, the line is caught all the way down and that our sediment traps aren't moving all over the place with a nice long straight line string. And then we let them sit for a few and minutes and bring them on back. But you show me a bunch of bottles so do they go at different levels or, or what? Like so, it, so you can, depending on how many crosses you have, you can set them up at different levels to see how they how particles go through the depth. But uh, for this case, we're just going to put one on at one depth, and I think we're doing 150 meters. That's the plan. And it, it will stay at 150 for the whole It'll time? It'll stay at 150 for the whole time and float around with the section of the ocean where those particles are falling down from. So we want to keep it with that section of ocean instead of towing it along with the ship. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Got the sediment tubes. Now we're sort of waiting to get everything rigged up. We got to get the weight in the water, and then uh, we'll attach the cross, then attach the tubes, and send them on out. It's game plan at least. Actually operating the uh, capsum, which keeps tension on this line as we send it out and feeds us the line, and then uh, once the end of the line goes through, we send it up over, and we'll secure it to the buoys, and then everything goes overboard. Okay. That's pretty much it. Okay, so you're the main man there. Hmm. So now we're sending the anchor in that's gonna keep the uh, the, uh, the line taut throughout the water column. Down on it, down on the capstan. Down. Thanks. Going down. Stop. So are you controlling those? Going down. Stop. Going down. Stop. Yeah, I'm, I'm controlling the capstan over there, which is keeping all the tension. So now what they're doing is they're going to attach the cross that's going to hold all of our set of trap tubes.
and there's two hooks that cross each other on the inside and as they crank them down they pinch the rope so that it doesn't go up and down. Okay, Cory, so... So, so now they're, they're securing those two hooks that pinch the line. And then the tubes will come out and they'll secure the tubes down. And then those sort of yellow tethers, they're gonna go up and be strapped to the rope on top of it, sort of as stabilizers so there's no wobble movement. The yellow ropes? Yeah, those yellow ropes hanging? will go up and secure at the top. So right now they're they're gonna put a, a clip on and secure that down just to keep keep sure that the, that cross stays horizontal throughout the water column. I ha I don't have an answer for that. Dr. One. Seuss distributors. <laughs> That's totally that thing is so Dr. Seuss. That really is. It's like uh. Or it looks like crab gill. I'll tell you where to go on YouTube to watch these videos so you can hear yourself. Oh, God. Stop. <laughs> Forget your filming. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dr. Seuss Science. <laughs> See, and now what they're doing is they're bringing the tubes and they're, they're using the smaller ropes to latch them. And there's notches. So how many tubes per? There's 12 tubes per cross. Wait, how many do you have two crosses on one line? Um, we, we're only putting out one cross, so we only have 12 total. Okay. Last summer we did 12 crosses. Twice. No. 288. Is that on one line? No, no. We did uh, one... Or one buoy, I guess, or how? It, it was one buoy with 144, and then we came back, and then on the third leg, we did the same thing again. Is that for different depths? Different depths, yeah. Okay, so before you explain to me um, that the water is... The particles are going in because those bottles have very dense water? No, the particles are sinking no matter what. Okay. What we don't want is for that dense water to get mixed up with the with water it. column. So oh, once okay. the particles sink in there, they're stuck there and no water's actually going to turn over because it's so salty. It's like if you took fresh water and salt water and put them together, they would separate out because the salt water's heavier. We just made a lot saltier salt water. So now the ocean water can sort of be considered like fresh water and the stuff we have in there is more like salt water so it's going to sink compared to the rest of the ocean. I see. So there'll be no mixing. Yeah, I think about like oil and water when you were describing that to me last Yeah, time. that's exactly. And that's, that's it. And so then we're, we have we'll, 12 total. 12 total, we send it out. And they'll sit at 150 right. meters for a couple of days and then we'll pull it back up and see what we got. Going down. Stop. Like one. 
So now we're spooling out the 150 meters of rope um, that's going to be above that sediment trap. And then once this rope ends up uh, done going through, uh, we'll attach all the leaves and then we'll use the crane for the big orange one up and then the green ones go out and then the hard hats go last. Now how do you know what depth? Connections. Where these things are wrapped, they're the connections between the ropes, and we're just making sure that we don't damage the ship's equipment and we don't damage our, our line ties. And that way, things don't get snagged either on their shackles that are. Stop! You see, it, we have shackles in there, mm -hmm. and we just don't want them to crack. We're down slow. Down slow? Down slow. Go down, down. Okay, stop. Okay, what are you saying, what? Uh, so now we're pulling in this orange rope um, so we can secure our buoys to that shackle. Uh -huh. And then once the buoys are secure, then everything goes overboard. So all the cable goes in and on top of that with the shackle is, is the buoy. It's all, it's all okay. of our buoys, yep. And then the orange rope is just... The orange rope then comes, comes back, back around. Okay. Yep. That's so, just so we have enough line to do what we need to do. Okay. And that is so you can always keep rope strung through the top part. Otherwise you have to... Down. Going down. So let me ask you, those controls that you have in your hand, are you the person actually moving the drum I'm the over person there? Make sure it's not hitting anything when it lifts up. Control it. Got it. Oh, the copepod has returned. Fierce as ever. <laughs> 
Wait, Sarah, if this thing booms up, this is gonna slide out that way, right? Yeah, just just uh, sort of guide it so it doesn't slide into the hydraulic. Got it. All set. Words. Oh, they're out. They're floating. Um, hope they stay floating. Famous last words, right? Yeah. And uh, we'll be back in either 24, 48, or 72 to pick them up.